they should bring back the round table just to sit these guys at it. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities you didn't know were knighted. Hello there. Come here, my little friend. Before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've gathered famous recipients of the knighthood and ranked those which are most surprising, shocking, or least well publicized. To qualify for this countdown, the celebrity must have been appointed by the monarch or royal family of the UK into any order of knighthood, including Knight's Bachelor or Honorary Awards. C, O, and MBEs do not feature, while lesser known celebrity dames command a separate countdown. And to see how it works, you've got to look inside. Number 10, Bono. Hello, my name is Bono, uh, but you can relax, I'm not asking you for your money. The first of today's honorary knights, U2 frontman Bono was formally recognized by Queen Elizabeth II in 2007 for services to the music industry and humanitarian work. As with all honorary recipients, his name isn't officially styled with Sir at the front of it, no matter how rock star Sir Bono may sound. While the Irishman's best known for making hit records including With or Without You, Sunday Bloody Sunday and Beautiful Day, he's also a relentless campaigner, fundraiser and political activist, helping fight world hunger, disease and poverty issues. Wouldn't it be great if we were also remembered as being the ones that set about making poverty history? Number 9. Bob Hope Well, they passed the hors d'oeuvres early around here, don't they? Known worldwide as one of America's greatest ever performers, Bob Hope was a comedian, actor, singer, dancer, writer, and athlete. He starred in more than 70 films, regularly presented the Oscars, and published 14 books. Hope lived to be 100 years old, but the first four of those were spent in Kent, because the great showman was born in England. How much has set you back, old buddy? What? What, do you want the part for yourself? Oh, once an actor, always an actor. Also famous for entertaining the troops during World War II, he got his honorary knighthood in 1998, at the age of 95. Ever the Joker, upon receiving the award, Hope quipped that he was speechless despite years of ad lib. If I saw this in pictures, I wouldn't believe it. Number 8. Kevin Spacey And then I told my boss to go f*** himself, and then I blackmailed him for almost $60,000. Having already bagged an honorary CBE in 2010, Kevin Spacey was upgraded to KBE in 2015, in the Queen's Birthday Honours. The Oscar-winning actor was best known for playing the ruthless Frank Underwood in House of Cards at the time, but off-screen, he's a way more respectable man. Mr. President, this is beyond the norm. I don't care. I don't care. Knighted for services to culture and British theatre, Spacey was mostly recognised for his 10-year stint as artistic director at the Old Vic in London. Speaking about his time in England's capital, Spacey thanked Britons for their support and said he felt like an adopted son. It's okay. Everything's okay. Number 7. Tom Jones It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. It's not unusual to be surprised by this, sir. But with a career spanning six decades and one of the most distinctive voices in the business, there's no doubt that Tom Jones deserves high praise. Knighted in 2006 for his services to music, the Welshman boasts 36 top 40 hits in the UK, from What's New Pussycat in 1965 to Sex Bomb in 2000. He broke America too, scoring 19 top 40 records in the US. Now known as a coach on The Voice, upon being knighted in 2006, he said it was the best thing he'd ever had. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much in love, of a man sane. Number six, Ben Kingsley. We're on the front lines of a war here, old boy. And right now, it all comes down to you. Having earned an Oscar, BAFTA, Grammy, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and two Golden Globes, Ben Kingsley is one of Britain's most decorated actors. But it's often forgotten that this thespian is also a knight. Kingsley was appointed Knight Bachelor in 2002, just a couple of years after playing the violent mobster Don Logan in Sexy Beast. Not this time. Not this f***ing time. No! No, 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 no! We'd wager the Queen was more in mind of his 1982 turn as Mahatma Gandhi, however, in a biopic which won Kingsley a place within Hollywood's highest echelons. Here is an actor who clearly has range. If we obtain our freedom by murder and bloodshed, I want no part of it. 
Number five, Salman Rushdie. The ritual leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has repeated the death sentence against the author Salman Rushdie. Given that he's lived much of his life subject to an Iranian fatwa calling for his death, Salman Rushdie's 2007 knighthood triggered worldwide controversy. An effective death sentence was issued to Rushdie upon publication of his 1988 novel, The Satanic Verses, with concerns that it insulted Islam. Ayatollah Khamenei said the death sentence was still valid and must be carried out. Mr. Rushdie, he said, had committed blasphemy. He would have to be executed. Then Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher granted Rushdie round-the-clock police supervision amidst rising tensions as book burnings were staged in some British towns as well as demonstrations in the Middle East. Organisers stressed that the knighthood was recognition for Rushdie's full body of work, but criticism came from all corners regardless. This is a man who's, who's spent the past 20 years demonising Islam and painting um, um, and attacking our way of life and, and the way we practise our faith. Number four, Michael Gambon. Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. Perhaps best known for his role as Hogwarts Headmaster Dumbledore in six out of the eight Harry Potter films, Michael Gambon was invested Knight Bachelor by Prince Charles in 1998 for services to drama. Honoured before he'd even entered the Potter universe, this man's back catalogue is bursting with stage and screen credits beginning in the late 60s. It proves whether or not you've handled a firearm this morning. You don't believe I kill Manuel? No, as a matter of fact, I don't. His theatrical performances range from King Lear to Uncle Vanya, while TV roles include an early 90s outing as Inspector May Gray and a part as Badger in The Wind in the Willows. He's a man of many talents, even without a wand in his hand. Ah, poor dear ratty. Number three, Alfred Hitchcock. Known almost universally as just Hitchcock, that the master of suspense is also a sir is often forgotten. A legendary British filmmaker, Alfred Hitchcock had long been tipped for a knighthood when he was finally shortlisted in 1979. And the other man said, oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. you know? And the point was, I didn't know which was the crazy man. The director was officially honoured just months before he died, aged 80. His journey from a knife in the shower to a sword on the shoulder was a long one, in which he reinvented the thriller genre. From Psycho to Vertigo and Rear Window, so many of Hitchcock's films are considered some of the greatest ever made. There's something, and if I'm right, I think I've solved a murder. Is this the one? No. No. The dog. Number two, Mick Jagger. Me again, our runner-up is often described as one of the most influential individuals in rock music history, but his status as a sir doesn't sit kindly with everyone. Some Rolling Stones fans and members expressed disappointment when Mick Jagger accepted the honour in 2003, feeling that it contradicted the Stones' anti-establishment message. It is also reported that the Queen outright refused to award Jagger in person, given his past views and lyrics. In typical Jagger fashion, his critics were mostly ignored, although he doesn't tend to wear his royal connection as proudly as some others. And Keith, as someone sometimes be fairly critical of you, he was not too happy when you accepted a knighthood, was he? No, I mean, he, he's not a happy person. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. <laughs> yeah, funny, you get to be 88, you're President of the United States, and now you're known for your socks. <laughs> <laughs> You understand the nature of an object so much more when you understand how it came to be. Physics. I'm Charles Xavier. Would you like some breakfast? Where am I? Westchester, New York. Number one, Steven Spielberg. We like to go to the movies and be in an 800 seat theater when people go nuts. Right. I, that's the best way to see a movie. I think so too, but I didn't know you were out there. I'm out there. <laughs> I'm out there. He's one of the world's best known and most watched movie directors, as well as one of America's most significant modern cultural figures, and he's an honorary Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire. Steven Spielberg was recognized by the Queen in 2001 for services to international film, but the honor is often lost in amongst Spielberg's multitude of other awards. Still, it's difficult to see how this guy doesn't deserve it. From E.T. to Indiana Jones, Schindler's List to Saving Private Ryan, he's a leading influence in modern cinema and a bar setter for every other director. What does that, does that mean my brothers are okay? 
Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. Are you sure that they're OK, yeah. though? I... We're looking for a different private, Ryan. This is just a big foul up. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.